everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning July 27th, 2020. Now before we get into this week's reading, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I also have lots of courses on archangels, how to connect with angels, chakra clearing, all that good stuff over at my Gumroad channel. Link is in the description box. Thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. That's in the description box. And I also have my new and improved <laughs> merchandise line, which I worked, you wouldn't know it by looking at it, but I worked very, very hard on it. That's available as well at Teespring. Okay, now for this week, I am going to be using a few new decks. So we're gonna see how that goes. Leave your feedback. Do you like the decks? What have been your favorites? Let me know, all right? Now, um, this week, there needs to be a lot of groundedness and getting centered. Here's the energy I feel we're going to speak uh, sort of in broad terms first and then we'll bring it down, okay? Turmoil, lots of things. Uh, we may see it very overtly, but I also have this sense of things kind of bubbling under the surface. I just heard lava bu bubbling under the surface. We've been saying this for a while earthquakes under an ocean we know what that can cause okay now the fact that they started out with saying make sure that you're getting grounded and centered this is so we are no longer in that space of oh my god what next oh my god if one more thing happens right so it's getting us to be able to cope and be able to flow through these experiences that of course we don't want but knowing when to jump into action to help others. Now, we cannot do that unless we are emotionally settled ourselves. I've been hearing a lot of people say, you know, you know we were so optimistic about 2020 <laughs> in the, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm very appreciative when people make those comments because it shows me where you are, what you're thinking, and it gives me a chance to address those things. So when I did the year overview, uh, like a general one it actually it was the video doing 2020 to 2024 uh go back and check that video out uh i said you know, it's going to be absolute upheaval you know everything is going to be shifting and moving and changing and it's going to be unbelievable get ready and then for the year overviews for each of the signs yeah i did try to stay very positive and i think i said in one of the videos this doesn't have to be a scary time i didn't go back and rewatch it but i <laughs> i vaguely remember um, you know, saying something like, we can, it's going to be uncertain, but we can stay level. And I know that's a hard thing for us to hear or to try to remain positive. You know me, I'm not into fake positivity. I'm not into spiritual sidestepping or any of that stuff. But what we're being asked to do is to stay level. Stay level. That doesn't mean that you don't care or that you're being in denial and burying your head in the sand and saying, I can't watch the news right? Take it in small doses. Some people are very adamant about that. They're like, no, I do not watch the news. This is how I feel about that. This isn't a time to allow yourself to get pulled into, how do I want to say this, into very polarized directions, okay? So trying to remain balanced, seeing all sides of things. You can back up uh, an opinion, but if you see the other side of it, don't be afraid to say, hey, I see the other side of it too. Remember, we're trying to remain very balanced, yes? So it's managing your emotions. I cannot stress it enough. They keep coming through, Metatron coming through, Gabriel coming through, uh, that this is the time to prepare. Pay attention to how you felt just then when I said it's time to get prepared. Did you panic? Can't have that. No. Take that energy that starts to go into panic and keep it laser focused. Now remember, yes, I'm a human being saying this, <laughs> but these are all things I have to work on too. I panic too. This is me just offering what is coming through right now, okay? So, you know, as I said in some of those 2020, uh, you know, year overviews, and again, go back and check those out if you want to, uh, take that, that frequency and try to interpret it, <laughs> especially for this week, where it's like, yeah, things are nutty, but take care of yourself, okay? you know, these aren't scary times. It doesn't have to be scary times. You know, like you don't have to give into the fear, I think is the message there. Okay. So 
make that a priority. I want to share something with you very, very quickly. Except for this morning, <laughs> the past few days, I've been getting up around 5.30, sitting out on my balcony, watching the sunrise, meditating, and I guess it's 6 a.m.-ish, they have a hot air balloon. Uh, I don't know if they're giving rides. I doubt they're giving rides at this time, but they launch these air, uh, hot air balloons and they come up on the horizon. And I just sit there and watch them for a little bit. Sometimes I'm eating my almond flour pancakes with wild blueberries. <laughs> I do love crafting food first thing in the morning. I lose interest by the end of the day, but in the morning, you know, I'm, I'm still fresh and ready to go. So I'm out there having this grand old like breakfast and everything, watching these hot air balloons, watching the sunrise. And just that little bit of a change has gotten me so motivated to try other things because it made me so happy, okay? This is what we're talking about. There are going to be things happening, okay? Natural disasters. I'm getting chills. I feel, because they won't let me know exactly what it is. And when, there's something coming up in the fall. And the reason why they don't do that and it's very unsatisfying for the human ego. People really love to fight that and be like, well, rah, 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 rah. why won't they tell us? Bah, 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 bah. It's because you would flip out and because you are already flipping out, <laughs> right? We all are, right? So when it's time for us to know the details, the details will come forward, yes? But right now, we're, it's, it's go time. It's go time, you know, kind of thing. So there, like I said, there's gonna be natural disasters most likely. Um, I'm really concerned around November. I really am. But if we can work on our hearts right now, please get in touch with your hearts. Please. I know that that can be very difficult when um, difficult circumstances keep popping up. Immediately we're going to go into, into survival mode, right? It's self-preservation and that involves the intellect trying to figure out what to do next. There's going to be a lot of upheaval around children and issues with children and their health, their safety. Let me feel this out. Mm. Those arguments are going to be continuing about whether kids should go back to school or not. I, that's an easy one to pick up on. But there's something else here about, I, I think there's like another illness. I've been saying this in other videos. I don't know that it's what we've been dealing with, but something new pops up in the fall. Is it to the level that we've seen? I don't, I can't, this is something beyond my imagination, right? So for example, when I was saying in the overall, the 2020 overall, I felt like just all this crazy stuff, crazy stuff, crazy stuff. And I felt like people would be falling ill, but I would have never assigned those certain words, which I can't say in this video, <laughs> right? I would have never, cause I didn't want to, I'm a human being and I would never want to put that on it and you know, again, potentially worry people. So um, it's tough, all right? I will say though, that if we get into our emotional balance, you guys must know, I am a very, very passionate person and you know, I will speak out on things that I feel strongly about. And sometimes that doesn't go over well with some people, but my intentions are always good, right? <laughs> like, or I'm trying to make them good intentions. But this is that time where even if you are a passionate person, you don't have to, you know, sort of quell your passion. You do need to get that passion focused. That's the word here, focus, focus, right? So if something gets you riled and you wanna get up and have a debate about it, see if you can redirect that energy because it's not really gonna help us right now. This is messy. Messy, messy, messy. It's all over the place. I wish I could give you a more streamlined message here. Get your emotions together. Be healthy, okay? Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. And just know that we are in this time where we are, we're in a time of, um, I can't even say that we're in the time of destruction yet. I think that might still be ready to happen but we've been in that big change frequency, right? So realizing what needs to change, realizing where we have shortcomings on an individual level and on a global level, how do we not connect with one another, this sort of thing, we're gonna see this tearing down of certain um, ideas, maybe even institutions, but that's, that's more the long game there. 
So for this week, it's what we've already said, as time goes on, yes, there's going to be fiery tempers. There are going to be people who just want to be right. Uh, people who want to twist what someone else has said um, so that they can have a fight. And the kids keep coming up. Listen, you know what I really think it is? I think the kids have some bit of wisdom that, I, and I don't know how this is going to come about. I just have this feeling of everyone is concerned about the kids and the kids are sort of like, how about this? No biggie. Done. Why y'all yelling, right? <laughs> I'm talking little kids, okay? I'm talking like young. So there's going to be a lot of those types of conversations going on. Be careful around water. Um, I just heard riptide. Riptide. So especially if you're like, I don't know how that works, but if you're like a surfer or whatever like that, just be careful, okay? Take in, especially if you live... Um, you know, near an ocean, obviously, if they have warnings out, heed them. Do not go out and be like, oh, I've got to catch this giant wave. Don't do that, okay? Not now. Okay. Um, I, want to give this, I want to give it to you as it's coming up. We have a big Metatron presence here. Metatron watches over children. He can help you heal your inner child, which is really... I'm hearing right now is why we react the way that we do. It's from a wounded inner child. I know I get very defensive if like, or I guess in some cases, like I get really defensive about things, but I feel like someone's trying to get away with something, right? And maybe they weren't even, but that's my wounded inner child that is like, you know what? I'm tired of people crossing my boundaries. I'm going to stop it if I see it happening, right? So it's a lot of self understanding and some truth being spoken to yourself, okay? See all these pieces around it? We're gonna get some cards, which I feel kind of helps bring the message together. <sighs> Please get ready. Please get ready. Okay, so we're gonna start seeing also some, I gotta figure out how to put this into words. I'm gonna call them empty vessels, okay? Some empty vessels, people who have denied their souls. They don't have a conscience. Could be some of that acting out. I heard again, kids have the solution. Listen to our kids. They have the solution. They're going to have some really great ideas. Another illness, like I said, another illness could be popping up around the fall. I don't know that it's the same. It feels like it's different, new shifted change so I don't know if it's like what we're currently dealing with and like I, I think I said this like months ago where it like mutates I don't know though it feels like something completely different I don't think it's to this level but there is something kind of like whoa around the whole thing okay this is the year of whoa <laughs> right like what are you kidding me one shock after another and I think that's why they're saying get grounded get grounded this is not the time to fall apart. This is not the time to bemoan what is happening. Do you hear that message? We can't get focused on that. We have to get more into this mode. Again, I'm in the same boat with, with all of you. <laughs> we'll see how we do. But we have to get into this mode of observing and going, I see the problem. Okay, okay. And you're, you're human, so you're going to have your reaction to it. But don't stay there. I have my reaction, and now let's see what we can do to help. How can we come together, okay? There's so many, like, it feels like there's so many tiny things that are kind of coming together. I might just go ahead and record next week's message as well because it feels like it might flow into that. So, again, you're going to see me in the same outfit. Don't get confused with the thumbnail, okay? <laughs> so, uh, we'll get into that here. Again, I don't want to panic anybody. But we are in a time where you need, we need to learn how to be flexible, to foster an understanding and love and caring for our fellow human beings, even if we don't agree with them, okay? That love and compassion is going to shift us a lot faster than any other mode of change or approach to change that we've taken in the past. You feel me? Why are you guys keep bringing up kids? What's going on there? Let me get this. 
because we have Gabriel and we have Metatron. Gabriel watches over babies. It's all about nurturing. Metatron watches over the kids. The kids are bringing a revolution. Now, if you're a parent and you're sitting here listening to this and you start going down the road of, I knew my child was special, your kid's going to show you up, okay? <laughs> like, forget about what you think you've taught your child, okay? They come with their own coding. They are made of different stuff than we are, I feel. So <laughs> they're going to go... <laughs> can't wait to see how that plays out. This is going to be great. I love a smart kid. I just do, right? So like, you know, kids will come out just with their, their honesty and their purity and they'll be the ones to wake us up. Maybe not this week, but you know, there's, there's something around that. Okay. Careful with, um, any storms that pop up, take them seriously. I don't care if you're in Texas or Louisiana or Florida here in the U S because that's, you know, or even on the East Coast of the United States, that's where they get hit a lot with hurricanes. Um, and maybe you're very, very used to it. The, the storms are going to get, okay, they're correcting me. The storms are intensifying. So I don't know what that means exactly. And remember, anytime we change our consciousness, we can change the outcome, <laughs> right? So if we all get into a nice place here and we start contributing a nice energy out into the world, we can see, still gonna be a change, right? But we can flow with it instead of fighting against it. Does that make sense? So take things seriously. If there is, if you get an instinct, Metatron is all about intuition too. If your intuition says, hey, I know you postponed that vacation to, I don't know, September, but maybe don't, Follow your intuition, especially when it involves water. If you feel as though you should not be going to the beach that day, do not go to the beach. There's also, oh, okay. What is going on? There's, oh, this is such a wild message. Okay, so there's something about wildlife <laughs> coming up. Um, so speaking of oceans, this could be really active sharks or something, or I don't know, the, the wildlife is, and this is a sign. The animals are coming. Can I say they're coming out? Um, because they're very in tune with the earth changes. So as things are about to occur, we might see the animals behaving in an odd way. Um, more activity, this sort of thing. Kind of been at home for a while. So I know here in Colorado, the bears have come out like crazy. I, I went for a hike. Well, the last hike I took was three weeks ago. Then we got a heat wave and I, did, I, I don't do heat. <laughs> I just don't do heat. But there were signs posted everywhere. Watch out for bears. And, you know, that's always a, a thing that you want, you know, mountain lions, bears, snakes. You always have to be aware of that. But this is like, no, like people have seen them. Okay. And they are like right there and you got to watch it <laughs> kind of thing. So a lot of activity around animals, um, if you see an animal behaving strangely, don't go into like superstition, but tune into your heart. What does your heart, your intuition, what is your whole being telling you that that is? Okay, so I'm gonna leave that portion there. Like I said, I'll go ahead and record next week's as well, but let's pull a few cards. So this is the first new card deck. I'm in love with this. I am in love with this deck. It is um, Daily Crystal Inspiration, Heather Echinosi. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm Echinosi. Sorry if I'm not saying that correctly, but there it is. I just love the aesthetic. It's elegant. It is straightforward. It has an amazing energy about it. And let's get our cards. Some of you are going to be going to extremes. You're so much in the fear that you're gonna like be hiding out in the woods with your survival kit, food. We're not there, okay? We're not there. <laughs> and please get your energy in check. Do you guys realize that when you behave that way, you're putting that out into the collective? 
Let's not, okay? Remember, take care of yourselves. You know how to do that. We can affect the change. All right. Something, big turnabouts. Some of it's good, not all of it. <laughs> there could be some pretty big things happening. I don't know, but um, it just has like, <sighs> big, just big. Something, there are a lot of different things, but there could be something that happens that is bad for a certain group, like, like maybe people who are used to being in power, <laughs> right? Maybe not so hot for them, but good for everybody else, okay? So there's some nice kind of changes happening there as well. All right, fostering love and understanding. Let's do more of that. First card that we have here is Labradorite, see the magic. So this is interesting because Labradorite, it does help you get in touch with your intuition. There's this knowingness, all right? And remember, I was giving the example about how I get up at 5.30 in the morning and I'm sitting there watching the sunrise and the hot air balloons. That's what we're talking about here. Find a way, even if you're completely bored with your life right now, <laughs> find a way to find something you love. This is going to help your emotional state, all right? You need to be in a good emotional state. Cool? So see the magic in life. Find a way. Oh, but Michelle, there's so much. How could I possibly? When you stay in that energy, right, you are contributing that to the collective. All right. The more fear that goes out. Think about when you're scared and you're trembling. That's what happens to the earth. Except she's big. Okay. And it's like an earthquake. Okay. And if that happens under an ocean, you know what happens. Get level. Get very, very level here, guys. All right. Then we have Tiger's Eye, which is very protective and very grounding. Overcome your fears. Look at that. Overcome your fears. This is the week to do that. So you're getting mentally and emotionally prepared for all the changes. And it doesn't necessarily, sorry, I'm like dropping the deck. <laughs> Trying to get a grip on it here. Ah. Um, <laughs> so it doesn't have to be a time where you're giving into the fear and trying to hide out and all that stuff. Even though I haven't been going out and around people so often, I still found a way to make my home a sanctuary and still be outside and video chatting with my family more and, you know, doing all of that, remaining connected, um, having, well, you know, lots of connections with people all over the world, just conversations because I used to live in New York and I know people around the world, right? So, you know, being able to connect in that way and we're making a more conscientious effort to do that, right? Okay, so overcome your fears, tiger's eye. Love that because it does say you're protected. Don't just go hiding. And if you know you have some bit of a pattern, work on it, okay? Work on that pattern. This is not the time to go, oh, I'm perfect. <laughs> You'll find out that's not true. All right, oh, I love ocean jasper, yes. Uh, schedule yourself in. So <laughs> I feel like that keeps kind of driving home that message of finding things, you know, finding space in your life to enjoy life. You don't have to go on a vacation to feel like you're on vacation. Uh, the pool here at my complex, they opened. And of course, they're very strict with cleaning. I actually saw the person spraying down all the, the furniture and everything. And nobody's going down there. And if they do, we stay like, 50 feet apart from one another. Like literally, there's only like three or four people down there and we're all <laughs> spread out. And we have the Rockies in the background and it's just nice to have a beautiful blue sky and just being there, you know? So even though we're kind of doing it safely, right? Or doing it safely and kind of feeling like you're on vacation, but you're not. So this goes along with see, see the magic, right? So see the magic in your life. Whole big thing about gratitude as well. What kind of picture are you painting for your world. Is it a sad story? It is, is, or is it the hero's story? Or is it a transformational story? Or, right? You're discovering this week that you are in charge of what kind of existence you have. Okay? So schedule yourself in. I love that. Love that. Love that. All right. One more card from this deck. Hmm. Lemurian Quartz, Practice Patience. This is the other thing that we're having a hard lesson around right now 
We have always, as humans, we want what we want when we want it. And oh my gosh, if you don't give it to me, oh my gosh, if you don't agree with me, then you are my enemy. You know, I'm this whole thing. (laughs) So practice patience. If you are still in that mode of, I can't wait until everything gets back to normal. It's not going back to normal. Let that go. Let that go. Recreate your existence. Okay. So it's going to take a while. This is saying it's going to take a while to unfold. It's going to take a while for things to start kind of evening out. Yes, but it starts with you. Now the next deck, let me get you the cover here so you can see it. This is the one I was telling you guys, the botanical one, Um, Enchanted Blossoms, Carla Morrow. So here is the cover to that. Not sponsored, I just, you know, like the decks and so there's that. Oh, and I should announce that I am going to be, because I figured we need some like, you know, these are kind of like the, here's the soul development growth kind of readings. We'll do some like choose your own adventure readings that are timeless. We'll get a couple of those up as well. So we can have, you know, just some fun. Just like what, in practicing your intuition too, which pile are you intuitively drawn to? So be on the lookout for that. I'm also going to be recording a video um, explaining how to take a reading, <laughs> right? Uh, I made a video like that previously, but I think it's time for a little refresh because I love your guys' comments. Again, as I said before, it helps me understand where you are. And I read a comment and I was very inspired. I was like, I get that a lot. That's a good point. <laughs> and like, here's, here's kind of what my thoughts are on that. So uh, I will definitely be making that for you as well. Okay. First of all, I love how these shuffle. They're very easy, but they're not flying all over the place. It's good. So these have, I believe if I remember correctly, yeah, there's like a, a flower, okay? And then the name of a butterfly, which I will do my best to try to pronounce. But if you are into flower symbolism or a specific butterfly symbolism, there you go, a little extra. I don't know that stuff, so I'm not gonna be able to offer that to you. <laughs> I can give you the the uh, messages that are coming through from them, though. All right, let's pull two cards from this one. These cards are so beautiful. Thoughtfulness. Now, before I even read the rest of it, because it's just the, well, it's the flower and the butterfly, but thoughtfulness. This is imperative, guys. We need to have some thoughtfulness about what runs our life. It's okay to set those boundaries and say, no, I need to be thoughtful for my own time I need to be thoughtful for what is comfortable for me. And everything should be fair, right? There should be a fair exchange, right? So also thoughtfulness goes towards others, obviously, right? So let's be a little more thoughtful about where people are coming from. Um, Not igniting a reaction. Again, this is coming from someone who's incredibly passionate about things. uh, And I will work on being more thoughtful in how I present things to people, right? So that, you know, there's a difference between sugarcoating and just watching like it's too much passion coming forward when really you can save that for later and only if it's needed, (laughs) right? Start the conversation out nicely. So here it is. You're probably like, will you just hold up that card? Okay, so it's thoughtfulness, cowslip, and then Duke of Burgundy. So there is that. Do you love that? Such a beautiful card. And all of them have like this little like dragon. This artwork is incredible. So again, it's thoughtfulness, Cowslip, Duke of Burgundy. So there is that. And I feel like I want to take one right off the top. Friendship. <laughs> nice. Uh, Freesia and Green Veined Caraxes. So there is that. So this is knowing that you have more allies than you ever anticipated. Right? So this is realizing that we, again, when we're thoughtful towards one another and we give one another a chance to say what we need to say, we realize, okay, we're not so disconnected. We're not so different. We might have different expressions. We might have things that come out on the surface that are different, but on the whole, we are in this together, okay? Let me get you one more card from yet another deck, (laughs) all right? This one, where do I put things? Uh, This one is a Rochelle Charmin deck. It's Chakra Reading Cards, Ancient Wisdom to Balance and Heal. So we're gonna be pulling from this, brand new to me. I don't know if you've been using it. Leave your comments down below. And I also wanna say thank you all for making sure that you are subscribed, hit that notification bell, 
liking and sharing the videos helps out a ton, okay? So again, thank you for that. Let's get a card, just one little card from here. I just got an image of lions in my head. I haven't pulled the card yet. I got a, an image of lions and I'm like, aren't we in Leo season? I think we're in Leo season, right? <laughs> Officially. All right. We have I am presence. So again, guys, and this is, I don't know what chakra, because there's a whole. So we have here, I am presence. There is a number on here. I will offer that to you in case you do numerology. Uh, yes, I know this corresponds to, or it's referring back to the book. I know that, but in case it's meaningful to you. So the number is 30, I am presence. Remember your truest nature. And this is all a part of that message to get back in alignment with that true authentic self, okay? With your higher wisdom and to not get so pulled along. We were saying watch out around water, but you know, what if you get carried away with your emotions? What if you get carried away with your human story, your surface level story? Maybe that's what we need to be more aware of. To be clear, this is not so that you go running off and overcorrecting and pretending like life doesn't pertain to you because you're above it all. Now you're in spiritual ego, okay? Now you're being, um, you know, overcorrecting. Like I said, you're going off in a different direction, okay? We're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. There's going to be a lot of up people up. There's going to be a lot of, and we're making a more conscientious, conscientious, 